Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live Tech Edition. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello, everybody. This evening's guest is Robert Wagner, uh, better known to Portland as PDX Sucks. Hi, Robert. Hi. How you doing? I'm well. Yeah? I'm Well, I'm pretty well. I'm lying. I'm actually a little hungover, but I'm hungover well. Hungover and tired? Yeah. Yeah. You can still be well and hungover and tired. It works. Well hungover? Well, there you go. <laughs> you can be well hungover. <laughs> this is the tech edition. Yeah. So, what we really want to talk about... Uh-oh, Dr. Normal has something to say. I do? Oh, you, you had, like, made the stands... With the button, and you, like, lean towards the microphone. Oh, this is really going well. He's going to make us start over, so move let's along. just move along. <laughs> yeah. So what we wanted to talk about today is how PDX.fm got started. You've got PDX Sucks. You do that every Monday through Friday, 8 o'clock. But there's so much more that goes into it. And then we've moved on to PDX.fm. So I tell think, us a story. I think PDX.fm got started because... There was a lot of people, I think, out there that I wanted to hear what they could do a podcast about. Mm -hmm. And it seems that, you know, everywhere you look on the Internet, there's there's more podcasts about technology or things related to technology that, or social media, um, anything tech than there really is the rest of life. Mm -hmm. And it just seemed like kind of a good idea to give those people who may not be interested in the ins and outs of technology itself, you know, cable X goes into port Y goes into, you know, RSS feed, blah, blah, blah. Give them an opportunity to tell their story, whatever it might be, but specific to Portland mm -hmm. so that we were getting um, people who had interesting lives or interesting hobbies or just interesting points of view that didn't have the know-how or the knowledge to do those things. And we're, Put off by the fact they didn't have that. So let's stop for a second and rewind. What exactly is PDX.fm? That's a good question. We think of it as an internet streaming radio slash podcasting channel. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a website. Yeah, it's a website that's sort of an umbrella to quite a few podcasts. Okay. And, you know, live broadcasts as well. And it has a schedule, mm -hmm. and it airs like a television station or a radio station, but no video. It's all audio podcast. It's all audio, yeah. Okay. And how much of it is live content, and how much of it is pre-recorded? Oh, 90% of it's live. Okay. Easily. Okay. Um, you know, every once in a while, we try not to do anything that isn't live, if possible, but, you know, you have circumstances where, you know, not everybody can, you know, show up every day mm -hmm. and do it, or... You know, hey, you did five live and somebody had to go on vacation or, or whatnot. So we allow it then, but we try and do the majority of it live. So it's been going for about two weeks now? Yeah, just and over. How's it How's it running? Um, it's been it's been really good. We've hit some, some nice hurdles and things like that and, you know, to be expected. But it's been really, really good. I mean, response to it's been great. And um, right after the first week, we started getting a lot of people coming to us, which is what we were hoping for, saying, you know, hey, I'm interested in what you're doing, and I think I'd like to do a show about this, that, or the other, and which is good to see. I mean, that's really why we did it in the first place. What do you have shows on currently? So what is PDX Sucks about? That's that's your show. What is it about? Um, it, It's sort of a, uh, I don't know, a nod to Portland more than anything. In moving to Portland, I moved here from Seattle, and... This is, what, four years ago. And I moved away from Seattle for a reason. Seattle got really, I don't know, a, a little too hip and knew it than it used to be. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like I had to get away. And there was certain things that I noticed taking place at the time that when I moved, or before I moved, actually, it had been going on for years, but um, that had been going on that I really just didn't like and I wanted to get away from it. They had lost their weird. You know, you see all these, you know, Key Portland weird stickers. Seattle was every bit as weird for a long time, and they lost it. And got down here, and you know, about two years in, realized you know the city's kind of headed on the same path in a way, in certain ways, mm -hmm. or you know, at least as far as I was concerned. So it was sort of a 
I don't know, kind of a, you know, how to express my uh, displeasure with that, if mm -hmm. you will. So what is the number one thing that sucks about Portland? Uh, currently, people that don't understand what Portland sucks means. And it doesn't mean you're supposed to like throw things at me or hate me or whatever. Yeah, I get emails constantly, people going, oh, and just for the record, Portland doesn't suck. Well, yeah, I know that. Thanks. If it but, sucked so much, I wouldn't live here. Yeah, if I was going to go past that, I, I'd say right now, it's that um, the car drivers and the bicycle riders need to get the, get along. Yeah. That's a, that's a big peeve of mine at the moment. What other shows? So that's PDX Sucks. That's mm -hmm. your show. What other shows do you have on PDX.FM? Um, oh, boy. There's The Meat Show with Emily Gibson, which is kind of the um, started out as a show truly all about meat that aired once a week uh, for a while. And we realized pretty quick that she had a lot more to say than just talking about meat. Mm -hmm. So she's sort of the... Uh, the decade younger version of PDX sucks, <laughs> um, which is fun. Um, there's Hike Yeah, which is all about hiking. Mm -hmm. It's basically hiking stories every week. Um, iPhone Sluts, a show that's we wanted to take and the the typical iPhone podcast or people who like iPhone apps and things like that is usually run by men, mm -hmm. and you don't get a whole lot of perspective on it. You get people talking the same way about the same things over and over again. So we wanted to kind of throw kind of a wrench in that and just change it all around and give women a show to listen to that was, you know, pretty loose and pretty, you know, from their point of view and perspective and maybe look at some of the apps that don't get looked at because of it. Mm -hmm. um, there's... How often? Is that a weekly show? That's a weekly, yeah. Because there are enough week. new apps every week that you could do an hourly. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's actually <laughs> arguments about which apps to do. Yeah. Yeah, because there's just so many. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's overwhelming. Um, there's the Nerd Report, mm -hmm. which is a um, a lot of people don't quite uh, really understand what that is. It's a it's meant to be a let's find out about everybody's thing that they like to do. What are you nerdy about? Mm -hmm. And they just explore that every week, just you know, talking to various people. I mean, it was one week it was people who were really into Harry Potter, or in that case, way too into Harry Potter. Um, one week it's you know who's into video games, et cetera, et cetera. But never like making fun of them or anything like that. Just more, hey, for people who have never done this, but have always everything you want to know about it, but were always afraid to ask or didn't have anybody to ask. Yeah, you know, let's let's explore that. Um, yeah, there's quite a few more. There's you know, like a couple music shows. Um, the music shows present kind of an interesting challenge, though, because when you're on the radio, there's. Uh, it's grandfathered in. There are so many ways that you can play the music. Everyone wants you to play the music, but the second that you start to put something on the internet and you play the music, you're breaking all sorts of licensing or you have to pay a crap load of money. Yeah. So is that why there's less music shows or, um, and yeah. how do you work around that? I mean, how do we work around paying? No, we, we how pay. Do you, well, no. <laughs> um, actually we find that the music shows just aren't as popular as, really? yeah, not at all, not even close. Um, and we're pretty surprised about that, but it's some of the music shows that we're experimenting with are a little bit interesting in theme in that they'll we'll tr we're trying to do different things with them, or at least play some music that maybe you wouldn't hear somewhere else, mm -hmm. which is um, actually pretty easy when it comes right down to it because everybody's playing a lot of the same thing. Um, we have one called Forty Five North that's basically it's it's any music above the 45th parallel which is you know i didn't think it up i wouldn't i don't i don't <laughs> think like that i would have gone you know totally different direction with it but you know the like a, we have a celtic music show every week that has become pretty huge mm -hmm. and um interestingly enough more people listen to that than will listen to say if we've sat and played you know pop music you know current pop music for an hour or two a day because well, they could get the current pop music be, anywhere anyway. they wanted to mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's, I think that's where the difference comes in, where people just aren't identifying with, you know, hey, this is the same old thing, but I will identify with people talking about something I find interesting, learning something new, hearing an opinion that, you know, I may share or may not share. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's where the, the music thing really just kind of falls short a little bit. I mean, most internet radio, it seems, that's out there is just kind of somebody playing a jukebox you know, and streaming it out. And it's like, well, 
that's all well and good if I happen to, you know, share your musical taste, but why are you playing this? You're not telling me. Yeah. You know. So in addition to it being on just streamed throughout the day on the pdx.fm site, all of the podcasts are also released traditionally as a podcast. Anything that's not music. Anything that is not music. Yeah, the, okay, so that's part of the music. There's line some interesting. There. Yeah. Well, actually, the Celtic music one is done as a podcast as well. That's the only exception, as far as I can recollect right now. Um, yeah, because there's that becomes a whole different royalty issue still, mm-hmm. and one that we just don't um, don't want to deal with right now. Yeah. If they get enough money. <laughs> so what drew you to podcasting in the first place? Because you have, I mean, you've got like the quintessential radio man voice. Do I? I you yeah, people have keep telling me that. I didn't Dr. know that. Dr. Normal. Am I right? And this studio is way bigger than it looks, right? This is yes, I hear it all the time. Our studio is <laughs> is way smaller than it looks. That's smaller. Bigger. And, I don't know. And that Robert I has that the radio man No, voice. he does. He's got a great... Great radio. I when I first heard uh, PDX sucks, I thought you you come from a DJ background. No, no, even no. though I, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Did you listen to a lot of uh, DJs and a lot of uh, classic radio when you were growing up? I listened to the radio before it started to suck. Sure, you know, quite a bit. Can I say that? That's okay, right? You could, yes, you yeah, can say I mean, that. I'm opinionated about that. That's yes. fine. Yeah. But no, no I, you're doing an excellent job of controlling uh, your use of expletives. <laughs> expletives. I can do until later. <laughs> no, we've got what? How? 140 that we get to use in the next. Is that what it was? I can't remember the actual number. Maybe Doctor Normal could look that tweet up, but that's for after hours. Yeah. So you've got no radio training. What no. is it that drew you to podcasting? Honestly, it was it was a couple different things. I was already doing the blog. Mm-hmm. And I was doing that more as just kind of a personal, I mean, why does anybody blog? It was the same reasons. To vent. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just sort of, uh, it caught on a little bit. But at the time, I was actually, I was working with this company, a startup that, um, I believe it started last June, June 2008, Mm -hmm. um, called Small Plate Radio. And I wasn't doing anything on the audio end with them at all. Not a bit. I was just, I was simply kind of giving them some guidance on the web more Mm -hmm. than anything. And, you know, making their podcast feeds and things like that. And it took that quite a while. They didn't actually really start moving along until January this year. And I was doing so much experimentation at the time with, you know, people coming to me and going, okay, well, how do we solve this problem? You know, how do you do this? How do you do that? Basically, the very same questions that we're hoping to address with people who come into us now wanting to podcast because they knew nothing about it. They just knew we wanted to get in on this internet radio thing. We want to tell interesting stories. How do we go about this? And I do have something of an audio background, um, mostly in music, mm-hmm. engineering, um, things like that. But so it didn't bother me to go out and you know spend all kinds of money to experiment with this so that I could come up with answers. Yeah. And just started podcasting one day just decided well i've got all this stuff sitting here and well they're kind of doing their own thing over here and i'm gonna do something over here that was kind of you know hopefully entertaining rather than they were doing a lot of um you know business to business type stuff or informative uh, yeah and you know a lot of it was pretty good but it was just not really what i was interested in doing and i felt myself kind of okay i'm done they're where they need to go now what do i do and it's just seemed a natural thing to do. So you just kind of jumped in. Mm-hmm. And you record do you, all the shows for PDX.FM, are they all recorded out of the, out of the studio? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. They, we do have a couple people that, if they need to, um, will do a pre-record from their own studio. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they, and maybe two that have that capability. Yeah. But, you know, usually they come in and do it live. But, you know, in rare circumstances, they will. They will, you know, set a pre-record. So mostly it's the cycling in and out all day because the shows are mostly half an hour? Typically, yeah. Yeah. Are there any that are longer? Um, We're experimenting with it here mm-hmm. and there. We just did um, we did a show, what, Friday night? The uh, after hours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was, I think it went 90 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, we were kind of of the opinion it went about a half an hour too long, but yeah. we were having a good time talking to who we were talking to, so... Um, a couple of the music shows are longer. Um, they'll be like more 50 minutes to an hour or in some cases two hours. But and do you think that that's an attention span thing when it gets to, cause you know, 
<clears throat> and I hate to say this because I, I realize that we have a after hours that is an hour long, but mm -hmm. uh, for me, things start to drag. I have other things that I should or could be doing, mm -hmm. and you can't always take it with you when you go. Uh, so do you, is it just that you guys run out of steam on a particular topic weekly after 30 minutes or is it an attention span kind of leave them wanting more? We figured out pretty quickly that the episodes that people liked that we were getting really good feedback on were toward more toward the half hour mark. Mm -hmm. We also figured that, I mean, cause we run it live. So we know at what point people start to leave. And people will tune out after about 45 to 50 minutes. And so we, we figured, well, okay, let's maximize whatever it is we're going to talk about and make an effort to do what we think are four or five really good shows per week rather than, yeah, sort of one long running thing. I mean, truth be told, I, I listen to quite a few podcasts. Most of them, if they're longer than 45 minutes, I usually miss whatever's after that. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, it's it's divided in some way and I have to find, you know, pick back up where I left off. But yeah, it just, you know, we've had a lot of feedback like that. That. How do you consume most of your podcast content? iPod. iPod. Yeah. Well, or iPhone, rather. Well, yeah. it's the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Dr. Normal, I think also, every once in a while he'll be listening to something on his laptop, but for the most part, it's all on his iPod, too. Is that accurate? Yeah, that's accurate. I was wondering um, who who influenced you as far as uh, when you were listening to podcasts and you started g wanting to get into it. You had to be listening to several different kinds of podcasts that you were interested in that may have given you ideas. Not really, no. Not at all. I mean, in terms of what I do, yeah, um, or like my shtick per se. Well, or just, just the general... Podcast, like I know, I started listening to Leo Laporte um, when he started podcasting and started his, uh, you know, Twit Network uh, and a few others. You know, I know this is going to sound very much like something that should be on the Nerd Report show. Um, <laughs> my first several was just me, and it was okay for a while, and actually, they did fairly well. It's hard to talk to yourself, though. It is. Yeah. And they ended up being, they, interestingly enough, they were actually longer. Mm -hmm. um, there was this podcast I, I had been listening to before all this even got started. This is probably two years ago. I can't remember their names, but it was um, a video game related show that mm -hmm. was um, a man and a woman. And they were just great. I mean, it was it was one of these things that I, I think I probably would have found it entertaining no matter whether or not I found video games interesting at the time, which it, to me, it was just something I just tried. I saw it on the homepage of iTunes at one point and thought, well, I'm going to try that. Why not? You know, how, how weird can this be? And they were just great. I listened to them far more for the banter they had going back and forth than I ever listened to them for, you know, the information they gave mm -hmm. because it was, I believe it was a weekly show and, you know, with the internet, it almost seemed like it was old news by the time they got to it. But they had a um, just a chemistry that really, really worked. And so I guess that would be a huge influence in where we eventually took the show, you know, in terms of adding that yeah. female element. It's the always be entertaining yeah. clause. I think, and and this is not, you know, directed at any one particular podcast, but I think that when we finally realized, okay, we're doing a podcast and we started looking at what other podcasts were doing, for us it was a lot more, let's not do that. Yeah. Oh no, let's not do that either. Yeah. And kind of seeing what wasn't working and what was the status quo. Yeah. And I think that you guys managed to break that very nicely. Thank you. Yeah, it's one of the things we tried. We spent a lot of money on um triggering sound effects and things like that and then mm -hmm. realized God, you know what I really hate about radio? All these stupid sound effects. Yeah. yeah. And it just Dr. Normal. It just it just drives us nuts, you know? And, and so it's is is this like what every podcast does when they start? Because we did the same thing. We started, you know, you listen to the early stuff that we did that was audio only, and there'd be crazy music and samples and sound effects, and yeah, you know, yeah. Any more? <laughs> we try to really keep it down. I mean, for for something like a 
a sound bite or you know maybe a, a pre-record snippet of something we did like an interview that had to happen we'll still do it or you know intros and outros sure but yeah the whole you know hey i cracked a lame joke hey applause mm -hmm. you know just don't have a cow moo yeah it just doesn't get any better than that don't have a cow moo oh my gosh yeah no oh, we can't um uh, so I want to take it back to something you said a moment ago where uh, was the you were talking about the podcast about the video game mm -hmm. and you said because of the internet by the time you listened to it anything was kind of old news. Mm -hmm. Isn't that true with a lot of podcasting? By the time you can get it together to talk about it, it's not really that the information is so necessary that you want to hear the person's perspective on it is more the case. Yeah, I think in this case they didn't give a lot of perspective on it. it it their their delivery was very much hey here's information and now we're gonna you know talk or you wanted forth. to be with them when they discussed it exactly yeah, yeah. yeah that that was that was the appealing part you know i never listened to them for any sort of timely information at all yeah exactly it was more their spin on it if i want something timely i just read something yeah yeah where is pdx.fm going where do you see the future of it because it's i mean it's still like a brand new little baby yeah site um, boy, in two weeks, we haven't really thought about it, but where do you see yourself in five years? Yeah, really? Yeah. No, I, five I, weeks, maybe. I think what we'd really like to do is just, you know, start in small steps, you know, for, for starters, have a full schedule, mm -hmm. um, round out what we have, perhaps start a, a second studio so that we can do something else at the same time studio a yeah studio and studio b exactly <laughs> exactly yeah because it you know right now we're already running into places where you know hey i want to do a show and i can you know i have time on you know tuesdays at whatever time you know mm -hmm. nine o'clock well we have a show running then you know maybe you could come in fridays at three well fridays at three don't work for me so yes yeah, so it'd be great to be able to accommodate both yeah yeah and so you're but then you know you're doubling everything Correct. At that point. Um, where do you think you're going to be going with content? You, I mean, you have a, a pretty good variety of content, like you said, that's not tech-based, mm -hmm. which is important, but also interesting because of the way it's being consumed. It really shows that people are more technologically advanced, even if they're not techies now, yeah. in order to be able to watch it on the computer or, I mean, sorry, I always say watch, listen on the computer or download it to their iPods. Yeah, I think we've sort of inadvertently... Or at least we're trying to help people through that, that that fear of, well, yeah, I've heard of this. Some friend of mine told me about it somewhere, this podcasting thing. How difficult is it? And I, I think we've, at least, you know, we've had feedback to the effect of we've opened that door for a few people, yeah. which is which is a really, really gratifying thing to find out, you know, because it's, well, I do want to know about hiking, but, you know, I'm not, you know, my computer is 10 years old and I've never done any of this stuff. I don't own an iPod. Well, you don't have to. Um, in terms of the content, I think the more we can explore the city of Portland and tell the stories of the people that are here, the better. And I don't think there really is a, a, a um, limit to that. Mm -hmm. I really do think that just keeps going and going. I mean, we have a couple shows coming up that I'm really, really excited about that are a lot more personal in terms of... Um, you know what what people do what people think about um one of them that explores sort of the darker side of the human condition a little bit you know mm -hmm. nothing violent or anything like that but um, we have another one that's um going to be kind of a hybrid of audio personals and a game show the that, dating game yeah but not <laughs> it, 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 with all the cheese but none of the the cliches we mm -hmm. hope that's very cool yeah that sounds like a lot of fun yeah we're we're pretty excited about that so if people are looking to find you, mm -hmm. they can go to pdxsucks.com, mm -hmm. pdx.fm, mm -hmm. uh, pdxsucks on Twitter. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs>